Okay, you guys, I'm going to show you this Reborn custom that I did, uh, but I got to give you a little background story first. You can literally hear that through your headphones. Sorry, my husband's playing video games. Hopefully you can hear that. But um, I'm going to tell you the little story about it first, and then you guys are going to be like, oh, shucks. It's all okay. It's all right. So this is my first time ever doing a, re uh, a Reborn custom, and I wanted to do one because they're cheaper. I posted a video unboxing the kit. Anywho, fast forward, I'm watching a J Doll UK's video. Everything's going swimmingly. Like his her hands came out great, her feet came out great. Her head, not so much. I was painting the hair. First I was using a Prismacolor paint. Not paint. A Prismacolor pencil to like map out everything. And then I was painting on the hair and I hated how it looked so i used acetone to remove the hair and then it left around her head a big line so i tried to do um the color wash all over again and it just wasn't taking and i tried so hard to do that you use the purple the red and the yellow as suggested in the video um and i wanted something easy something not detailed i wanted something just very you know very 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 not detailed because i'm a beginner and I wanted to learn how to do stuff my own way. She's wearing this um, um, bitty baby dress. But in the camera now, you can looks like it's, she has a stain. I promise you. It's just a little diaper I put on her. Anywho, this is like the Jazzy Puppet Reborn kit. So she's about 13 inches. I couldn't find her anything to wear. So she's wearing an American Girl dress until I can order something for her that's smaller. So when I show you her face, it looks very horrendous because... Once I did the color wash, I accidentally didn't mix, like, the colors as light as possible. So her color ended up being, like, dark purple and red. And she looked like Thanos when he snaps his fingers. So I went to go rinse her under the sink and remove all of her paint. And then some of the paint wasn't removing off. And mind you, I didn't set it with anything yet or I didn't do anything crazy. So then I was really trying to focus on how I could get her hair to be, you know, cute and not so like, the line on her forehead, like, it was noticeable. Like, I wish I had pictures and videos to show you. Um, if I do, I'll insert them right now. If I don't, then I won't insert them. I was sending some videos to, um, my friend Andy to show her him how crusty she was looking. And so, this is the best that I could do. I had to make her hairline so close to her eyebrows because of how far the line was and I didn't want to throw away this kit I did order like a like a head that was already painted and legs and arms that were already painted but I might find a different body to put that doll on it was a 10 inch one so a little bit smaller than this one um but she came out decent enough um her face looks kind of weird still her lips I think are a little bit too dark and her hair is busted like, her hair looks busted, but I thought I would show you. And, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. I apologize. It's going to be a jump scare. Ooh, ow, jump scare. I put this bow that I made on, made on because I was, like, not realizing that I could just put, like, a magnet in her head and then put her a bow on her head. And then attach the bow to the a magnet to her bow. But her hair. This is my first time ever doing something like this. But her hairline. Like, please don't roast me in the comments being like, you did a horrible job. I know. And this is her outfit. She's wearing a, 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 Mer a bitty baby American girl um, birthday outfit. Her arms are supposed to be super loose with not really anything in there. So you can stick your fingers in her. Sounds really weird. In the back of her and make her like a puppet so her hands and f her hands can move and stuff. I didn't really do a great job of painting. Like there's some still like little marks right here and there. But if she's wearing an outfit you can kind of not tell. Like I said this is my first ever time doing it. Her arms and legs look way better than her actual hair. And then her feet. Her feet look way better. She was she was great until I removed her hair with acetone. Or she was great until I even started putting hair on her. 
And now she looks horrific, so I put this little bow on her. I measured it to her head so I could, like, cover up her hairline. I think, I, I don't know, somebody said I should get a wig for her, but because babies have sparse hair, she looks very ratchety ratchet. But this is the best that I could do on such short notice or such resources. Like, I even tried to go, like, YouTube a video on, like, how to fix doll hair and stuff and they were just showing like how to fix limbs when they fall off or how to fix deformed faces when they like get smashed and shipping or how to like just make a kit i don't know but she's going through something apologies and then i also put like some gloss in her nose which you can't see on camera some gloss in her nose to make it look like she has boogies and yeah she's super small this is my hand for comparison. And yeah, I wanted to post her on um, Instagram, but I was like, I don't know. She's just very, like I said, ow, jump scare. Like she does. She's very scary. Like she's just a little scary girl. Like I said, everything was going great. I was doing the color wash fine. She looked beautiful. Like I said, if I could find pictures and photos and stuff before I messed her up, you'd be like, yeah, you kind of were doing okay. I wasn't doing, like, I would say, like, reborn level extra art museum work, but, like, I was doing something great a little bit. I was doing some knowledgeable stuff. And then she came out with this. And then her eyebrows, of course, have, like, what's that going on? I don't know. Like I said, she's going through something. Leave her be. Don't judge her. She's very sensitive. Not everyone can be as perfect. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice night.